I know um, that is strictly political. And uh, so therefore, what I do, it doesn't change when my priorities uh, here in Sinomai. Governor Ralph Torres maintains his innocence and remains unfazed by his recent impeachment. He says all of his expenditures were by the book and denies all the allegations outlined in the six articles of impeachment. You said that nothing you've done is illegal. Do you believe anything you've done in these charges are perhaps unethical? I don't think so. He says lawmakers overreached when they held him in contempt for failing to appear before the legislative committee investigating him. He's moving forward with his lawsuit against the committee. It is important that we don't set a wrong precedent on the governor's position. That position up for election this year. Torres responded to his former running mate and sitting Lieutenant Governor Arno Palacios, who's running for governor. Palacios testified against the governor in the House investigative hearings. Earlier this week, he told KOAM he cringes thinking about the old Torres Palacios ticket. I'm not known to be throwing punches. Uh, and uh, I'm amazed that uh, he would come out like that. His political opponents, made up of independent Republicans supporting Lieutenant Governor Palacios and Democrats backing Representative Tina Sablon, ramping up their campaigns before the Senate drafts rules for the impeachment trial. I'll continue to be the governor uh, until the community says otherwise.